Welcome to Breakthrough. Thank you for joining us. Be sure to click the subscribe button followed by the bell icon so you don't miss any future videos. Uh, good day, Facebook. My name is Pastor Clay, and I'm coming back again to share with you a powerful word today that will give you uh, a deliverance if you apply the word in your life because the word of God is active and sharper than a double-edged sword. And it's truly honor and, and, and blessing uh, as the Breakthrough Church sit here and position themselves to give you a word today. And I just want to encourage you, no matter what may be going on right now, it may be some uh, family matters, it may be some sickness and illnesses, whatever the case may be right now, I want to encourage you to be strong. I want to encourage you to utilize the word of God in your life so that the word of God can work for you and deliver what you need in your life. Because the word of God is, 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 is the Holy Spirit that's operating on your behalf. And God is alive and well and on the throne. So I just want to encourage you today, no matter what you may be going through or, or may be dealing with, and the reality of it is that we all is dealing with something to some degree. But only the word of God can diffuse what we're dealing with because it's powerful enough to do it. So I just want to encourage you to relax for a moment and really get this word that I'm about to share with you. We talked about last week prayer, and we talked about the different aspects of it. And today we're going to talk about uh, spending time with God, okay? Because spending time with God, it, it shows an intimate relationship. Uh, most people that, that said that, well, you know, I've been praying, I haven't been receiving anything uh, that I've been praying for. Well, the thing is that we have to position ourselves in order to receive what God has for us. Because the word of God is not a lie. First of all, it's, it's, it's essential to understand that. That the word of God is not a lie. It will, re, it will not return back for it. But it will prosper wherever it, the word of God goes. So I, I need you to understand that. And, 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 and a lot of people uh, want the blessing, but not position themselves to receive it. So I'm saying this to say that uh, we're going to talk about today positioning yourself to receive the word of God, okay, and then pray, okay, spending time with God. Well, some people may like to just spend uh, 10 minutes with God, 15 minutes with God, 20 minutes with God, whatever the case may be, as long as you start somewhere. This is 2021, and we want to come in this year blessed and highly favored, amen? So we want to come in a position. We want, we want to come in and execute the word of God. We don't just want to be talkers of the word of God. We want to be doers. So you want God to do something in your life, then position yourself to receive it. Spending time with God is essential because uh, you need that intimate relationship with him. So you meet him on a regular, on a daily basis. You meet him, and you talk with him. And he goes other part of that, that communication to us. Well, listening. Okay. Well, well, I don't know what voice I'm listening for. Well, you have a negative voice that tells you always, always, always tells you negative things. Okay. Oh, this is not going to work. Okay. How many times you have prayed before? Or what if the discipline was like this? Or what if that was like this? What makes you get away from that voice? Meaning to me. Uh, Rebook that, okay? Meaning that don't listen to it. All right? Don't listen to it. There's nothing in the gospel of Jesus Christ that's negative. Nothing. So when God speaks to you, it's going to always glorify his name. For example, he may say, uh, get up. It's 1.30 in the morning. He may say, get up and read Isaiah 53, 5. Okay? So is that God saying that? Yes, why well, you say that, Pastor Clay? Because the devil is never going to tell you to read God's word. <laughs> okay? He's never going to tell you to glorify God because he wants the glory. So he's going to tell you the opposite from that. He's going to say, ah, I'm sleepy right now. It's 1 30 in the morning. I can't get up right now. I'm tired. I got to go to work in the morning. Or I got to get up and feed the baby. Whatever the excuses may be. But learn to know voice. Because the voice that Jesus said that my sheep know my voice. Understand. And it's important to understand the dynamics, how our mindset works and how enemy try to get in there with thoughts. Okay? 
Everything starts with a thought. Sin didn't start without a thought. When a person first went into a bar and started drinking, he had the thought to have to drink. And then he had to drink, and then the drink took him. Okay? In some cases, where they become alcoholics. So the, the key is to, to understand the dynamics of the sounds that you hear in your mind. So when you're spending time with God, uh, you're going to hear both. But learn, teach yourself. That's right, get in there. Teach yourself to hear the voice of the Lord. And it's a process. So we're not just saying it's going to happen one time. You know, and this shows the individual who the will is being done on. You know, because a lot of people, when it don't happen when they want it to happen, they go their separate ways because it ain't happening the way they want it to happen. Amen. Okay? And we're not talking about that. Jesus said that thy will be done. So this is what separates us to understand uh, who will is operating here. Okay? Is it God's will operating you want to serve? Or is it yours? Because if you're making a decision, why well, I don't want to listen to the uh, Pastor Clay on breakthrough today. I want to go. Is that God saying that? No. God is never going to take himself out of his equation for himself. So meaning that he's never going to stop me from hearing him. Only the enemy. Okay? So you, you got to know the difference when you're spending time with God. And we're going to touch bases on this again. Because this is a process, so we want to take uh, inch by inch of it. We want to take text by text. And we want to uh, uh, lay it down on the table, and we want to eat off of it. And when we begin to eat off of it, we begin to grow in the Word of God. And this is what it's about, growth. A lot of things going on right now that uh, a lot of people don't understand that we're dealing with warfare right now. So meaning that it's a lot of stuff going on right now that's coming from a uh, 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 a uh, negative energy from the pits of hell that, that causes people to become stuck, locked, and bound in many areas of their life right now. Matter of fact, that's what's good is bad, what's bad is good right now, okay? So you even talk about, well, you know, I, I, I heard a word today uh, on the Breakthrough Church, and, and, and it, it was good. It, it hit right home with me. And somebody may say, ah, oh, yeah, come on, I ain't going to preach this again. Then, what, what is you listening to? Huh? What was that boy just told you? Oh, that's right. So that means get away from me. Get away from me. Because you're trying to grow. You're waiting for God to deliver you. You're waiting for God to set you free. It may be a, a, a sickness, an illness, or whatever the case may be. So you want to get around people who can feed you in your deliverance. You don't want to get around the opposite of that. Okay? People that's trying to take from you. All right? They're trying to drain you. You, you want to get away from that. You want to get away from that. The Bible says in first, first Corinthians, bad company corrupts good character. So a lot of people wonder why they're not growing. Look at your friends that you hang around with. Okay? Look at your friends. Study feeding with negativity. All right? So spending time with God is essential. And as you begin to do that and position yourself, you will find yourself growing with God. So his voice become normal to you now. You begin to get into a place in your life where, where you understand the word of God more. You understand when you hear God speak to you. Some people say, well, God ain't speaking. Well, that's on you, okay? That, that shows you that you don't have a relationship, okay? Because the only way that you can get in tune with the Holy Spirit is a relationship with God when you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. And I'm going to pray uh, a prayer right now for anybody that needs the prayer pertaining to salvation. And we want to ask Jesus to come into your life right now and just take over. We want to ask Jesus to do a mighty work in your life. I don't care what this situation may be. You write it on the table. And I'm going to stand with you and we're going to pray over it right now. And, I'm, and through the prayers that we're doing, then I, we look forward to hearing from you. Don't be like the, the ten men that walked away and Jesus healed all of them, only two returned back to say thank you. Not thanking me or thanking Pastor Edward of the Breaking Church. You're thanking God. But you're thanking the people who's standing with you until you receive your breakthrough. And what we're doing, we're standing with you. We 
want to hear from you. We want you to share these messages. We want you to follow this. We want you to, to log on, send your comments. We, we want to hear from you. We want to hear from you. So I'm going to pray. Father, in the name of Jesus, I need you to say this prayer with me. And we ask that Jesus take over for this new year in your life. When this date is the 8th, I believe, 1 8, 2021. And this is the day that you receive Jesus Christ as your Lord and Savior. Remember that day. Okay? Pray with me. Father, in the name of Jesus, I come to you today. I ask you to come into my life. I believe that you raised Jesus from the dead. I believe that you're God. You're sitting on the throne. You're able to handle any situation that I'm dealing with. And you resurrected him and seated him at your right hand. Then, Father God, I confess him as my Lord and Savior right now. And, Father, I give you all these troubles that's coming up against me because I can't handle them. Father, I'm seeking him, and I need you. Show me who you are. And I confess Jesus today as my Lord and Savior on 1-8, 2021. In Jesus' name, amen. If you prayed that prayer with me, we'd like to hear from you because we need to keep ordering. It's a seed. Don't allow the enemy to take it away from you. So, I just want to bless you, and may you have a beautiful week coming up, and I speak a blessing that you will walk into a blessed week, and that you will walk into favor, and that you will walk into a mighty move of God, because that's who you serve. So, loosen up, let go, and let God. I want to thank you for joining us today. My name is Pastor Craig.